Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Love It All More. This will be your December 2021 forecast for the Scorpio sign, um, sun, moon and rising. Okay, December 2021, coming to the end of the year of 2021, uh, reduces to number five um, in numerology. So this year has been all about challenges, changes, um, difficulties um, for the collective, for the global collective. So as we come to the end of this, um, we also have um, another eclipse um, on the 24th of December. And we did have the eclipse uh, recently. So I know that you felt that um, pretty strong. Um, let us see what is coming up for you in December. But we'll begin with um, sound bolt meditation for 20 seconds just to tune into the energy. And I'm going to keep the readings as simple as I can, very concise with three rows. Your uh, start of energy, that's which is unseen to you, your obstacles, and then the culmination um, spread. So um, remember that this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and uh, energies are non-gender specific. All right. 20 seconds of the sound bowl. Deep breath in. Okay, Scorpio, let us see what December has in store for you. Right. I will be cutting the deck for the good tarot, which is this deck, and the rider weight. Sorry, the gilded. And I will take jumpers for the rider weight. You start the month off with the Hierophant. This talks about structures, organizations, um, rules, regulations. That's the theme. Uh, what's unseen to you is the hangman. Okay, so perhaps you want to push forward on something, but actually you have your stops in your tracks. Okay, and you are being called to uh, take the time to try and see it from many different angles. And your culmination energy is the High Priestess. Really nice. So the High Priestess is very intuitive. Secrets being revealed, okay? Picking up on new things. And Scorpio, I mean, of all the signs in the Zodiac, you are the most um, psychic and intuitive of all of them. Um, you have that natural, innate ability. Um, but it's very, it's like, phew, very powerful come the end of the year. Um, the end of the month, which is the end of the year. Okay, so it's like you're trying to, it feels like you, you're moving away from conventions and the things that uh, work in practice in, in, in society as things should be and expected to be. And then you're shifting into a more of a kind of between realms, between spiritual realm and physical realm in that sense of kind of harnessing a new energy that is um, deviated slightly from expected and conventional practices which I absolutely applaud by the way I live my life by that right mm. oh jumper bear with me a moment it's dropped on the floor I won't take the jumper although ooh, we had the magician but I'm not taking jumpers wants to come out it will okay okay under the hierophant we have page of pentacles news of money or news of resources good news um, but slow news as well we have nine of wands a wounded warrior end of your tether <laughs> Um, and the world card, end of a major, major cycle. Yo, you see, end of a major cycle with following these rules. You've had enough of it. Right, hangman 
<laughs> High Priestess again, my goodness. You see? It's, you, you, you sense, you sense that you need to kind of bring a different kind of attitude to this. You sense that you need to bring a different perspective on this that is not so rooted in logic. Interesting. Celebration, three of cups coming together. Uh, we have the chariot, fast motion forward. Hmm. See, I feel like you're wanting to, but but this is also victorious. This is like taking charge of your uh, affairs and going, right, well, I'm moving with it. I'm absolutely moving it. Sometimes it can be a travel card. I mean, we've got three major arcanas down here. I mean, these are majors because that was uh, intentional. But for three majors to come out here, that's pretty positive. The High Priestess, we have Four of Pentacles, kind of sensing, hmm, maybe I should uh, be wise with my spending habits because if I'm um, detouring away from conventions, I still need to ensure that I've got the currency of it to support my unconventional direction. King of Swords, okay, so, oh, yeah, that was one card. King of Swords, so this could be an authoritative figure. This could also be you, um, but I feel like it's somebody else. And then we've got the Knight of Swords, which talks about communication coming in, action-orientated communication. So it's weird because I don't, I don't see like um, specifically love, specifically um, uh, work. Um, I'm not sort of. It's, it's not sort of jumping out at me. What I am seeing is a real overall viewpoint on your life as it is your life journey as it is presently and um you're in that sort of transition phase of shifting between the old and the new now of course we're coming to the end of the year a lot of people do you know start the year off with new sort of resolutions and trying to say okay well what am i going to create now what's my new paradigm that i'm going to create for myself what is a new lifestyle i'm going to create for myself and i'm not sort of seeing yet i mean i may still see with the clarifyings but i'm not seeing how it's impacting a only specific part of your life i feel like this is a very broad i mean scorpio don't do things by half measures right when you do it you do you go all in so that makes sense anyway but i do feel like this is a a big picture you have the big picture aspect now so we're going to clarify this page of pentacles we clarify the page of pentacles please thank you Ah, uh, six of pen. Ah, uh, six of uh, whew, uh, six of cups. So I feel like this is um either some good news coming in from work that you've done previously, right? So this is some good news of a little bit of resources, physical, uh, like um, monetary, financial. Um, it could even be relate to property. I don't think it's major, but there is there is a sort of a, a, a top up should we say and it's either from um something you've done in the past okay or it's from um from someone from the past okay because there's the six of cups talks about equal giving and an exchange in matters of the heart in love right so it can also sometimes talk about a nostalgia card it can also sometimes talk about the children so perhaps you get some extra money to do with the children perhaps you get some extra money from someone from the past or perhaps you're getting some sort of resource coming in from something that you've worked for in the past and as the six of cups works with equal give and exchange um it is yours to it, it, it is owed to you you know energetically speaking uh let's go to the nine of ones please wanted that card because it was first coming out and this one which is upright so i won't take those okay so the first card that came out was the moon and the harvest card right so this wounded warrior over here it's like what you don't see because i feel like you're at the end of your tether with stress with work with where you are the energy that you put into the conventions the structures the regulations the system society all of those sorts of things it feels like what you what you don't see is actually you are coming out the other side on top okay but it's hidden from you at the moment at present with the moon card because you're so exhausted let's put it that way 
uh, the wounded warrior just had enough i mean he just wants to he just wants to go home and rest with the four swords right but instead he um he actually has more reserves in him than he realizes okay so he's got an uh, he's got another little stretch to go but he's near the end because it's a nine with numerology is an, an ending but he doesn't see that the things that he's worked towards up until now is going to reap in is going to bring home the harvest but he doesn't see it yet okay um and that's why it's, it feels a bit tough but no 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 you'll get it you'll get it for sure okay the world can you clarify the world please thank you temperance yes 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 okay so as we complete this ending here so it feels like you come to the end of some sort of stressful situation uh i feel like it's kind of work related but it feels it feels again like the work of the or the thing that you've passionately doing it's affecting the whole of your life it's like how you frame your lifestyle it's like what do you do what do you do to make a living where do you have your family what um are your emotional bonds where is uh your friendship circle coming in it's all of those things you're looking at the the broader picture over here right and um all of these things as it relates to how what is expected in terms of society in terms of the government and all of those things with the hierophant here and following the rules and regulations the ending that's coming now the end of the cycle it's the perfect timing right now it is the perfect timing temperance talks about patience and 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 talks about tempering your um your energies but really it's divine timing so the timing is now you've come to the end and i and, and you sense that anyway with the with the, with the high priestess it's come up twice you know that you the timing is perfect now to end this how do i put it to end this participation towards an organization or systematic structure that no longer serves you and the timing is now you're putting an end to it it's coming to an end and by the way there's no getting around it because um, these two cards are major arcana and they, and they tend to be predestined so it doesn't matter what face they take and how they are represented that current of energy will still happen in your life you've reached you've learned everything you can learn about how this system works okay you've learned all the lessons you can now rejoice and celebrate the learning of that and be informed to the degree that you are now ready to take that with you and apply it in a more um esoteric or uh, ethereal kind of more kind of fluid way forward which works better for you scorpio because you're your water sign so you prefer things a little bit more fluid and deeper you know you you understand that you've done the work with that with the logistics the practicalities and i feel like you've learned everything there is to learn and now you're moving on okay let's go to this high priestess here please thank you king of cups queen of pentacles okay so this could talk about um two aspects but I, so it can talk about two people right one would be someone who's um very grounded uh sounding um sound emotional uh, sensory sensory perception it could also be you right and the queen of pentacles could talk about kind of implementing into the real world by managing both remember i was saying it's a, it's an overview the queen of pentacles is all about kind of managing both the home life the domestic life the business life the family and friends that every everything all in one all from that one pentacle okay knowing that she can manage it all and she can manage it all she knows how to implement into the into the physical world and he's got the sound in um uh, emotional knowledge to do that um in the emotional world as well but in a very kind of emotionally intelligent way okay so i feel like um i mean there obviously can be people around you but more so i'm feeling that you are harnessing both energies because we've got the structure here with that hierophant with the queen of pentacles here we've got the structure but you are the king of cups okay and and, and you're sort of blending these two it's like you're the alchemist oh yes the, the magician jumped out in the pre in the in the shuffle didn't it uh -huh. and that's the alchemist you're blending these two natures in together you've got the emotional understanding you've got the practicality understanding and now you're blending it into this etheric ethereal kind of 
spiritual knowing, this intuitive knowing. Okay, it's really par par powerful. Um, you kind of, it's like we learn lessons, right? We go through our journey of life. And we get along the journey of life, you get little lessons here and there and everywhere. And it feels like you've pulled this lesson in, you've pulled this lesson in. You, as you walk forward, you're still taking in this and this and this. And now you kind of, you've come to the end of the road here with that, with that uh, world card. And now you're just processing, you're just like assimilating, recalibrating. It's all kind of blending together into that sort of, it's just knowing it's it's that sense that sensory perception and more so than than the emotional body it's then it's a vibe you're feeling it's really nice okay three of cups please thank you strength ah yes 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 okay so as because you're feeling this shift in power when i oh don't know why i said power there but there's a shift in how you, a shift in your sort of reality, moving from the structured ways of being to into a more fluid way of being. Um, there may be a little bit of um, uh, courage or stamina required because obviously we've got this three of cups. Now, three of cups can talk about reunions, people coming together, celebration. Obviously, you know, December, we have Christmas festive seasons. So we tend to have a lot of people around us but i feel like what's it's it, it might be kind of a little bit challenging for you okay because you're seeing the world from a whole new perspective here with this shift between the conventional and the ethereal and uh but these people are not maybe not on the same um the same team they may not be on um the same playing field they may not ag agree so it may take a little bit of inner strength to um to sort of be the old you around them when in fact you are the new you now okay so i do feel that this is going to be i think the easiest way to put this or the easiest way to manage those energies particularly with that hangman energy there is um even though you might struggle with some people when we come together uh for situations um even though we might struggle to see eye to eye and to really kind of manage those whoo, energies especially if you've if you've done with this you are in in that more kind of um invisible energy world you know and then all of a sudden you've got like the old old stuff coming back at you i would say if possible just be take it more from an observational point of view without judgment so you can interact with people who are still living by these old rules, which is fine. Um, even though you've branched out and you've almost had like, it feels quite spiritual awakening-esque, you know, where you sort of get to that point where you feel like you're living in, you know, life, humanity or life is, is a dream. Everyone's like in this dream. They're just caught up in this system, you know, it might feel like that, right? And the best way to sort of work with those energies, because it's easier for you to sort of then go down to that level because you've been there right they might not be ready to meet you at your level now so the best thing to do is just to observe it with love um uh, do, uh observe it with curiosity okay um but it will it will take a little bit of strength within you um to do so and then the chariot let's have a look at the chariot thank you for, oh, interesting. Now we've got the four of pentacles twice because we've got it over here and we've got it over there. So there is also a sort of a real kind of aha moment that comes with, okay, well, I know that I'm now ready to shift into this new paradigm shift for myself. I am ready to move on to more of a fluid lifestyle where I can be more in less in a dense energy, less in a kind of 3D energy, less in a kind of rules and regulations energy and venture out but in order to do that i know that what's important is that um i ensure that my um that i keep my values close to my heart okay don't offer it to people but also um as an as in kind of you might not want to you might be feeling the surge to move but it might not be the right time to kind of talk about it um i think it's it's very precious still in this moment i feel like it's this gift that you've discovered and um i, I feel like you want to hold on to it for a bit first and really kind of 
really fuse with the energies, really process it before you kind of implement it into the real world. But with this also comes absolute understanding with that higher, um, with that hangman, that um, it is, it's is—it's important to, um, to ensure that you have, what's the word? You have the resources based in this very conven in in the conventional so social economic world to support this venturing out of it it's like you need you you are recognizing that you need to have that little safety security aspect in terms of even though you're venturing out into, into the other known you're still living in this world right so you still need those benefits so I think you really are starting to recognize, okay, I've got to be very careful with my spending. I need to be careful about I, how I share my energy and my things with others. Uh, let's clarify that again with the four. There we go. Thank you. Okay. King of Wands. Yes. Because what, you, what you're ultimately wanting to do is you, you're you becoming a leader in your own right. You're becoming the leader of your new pathway, your direction in life moving forward. Okay. And so enable to give you the freedom because the king of the king of wands doesn't really deal with the nitty gritty, doesn't really detail uh deal with the details of things with you know the finances and all the rest of it. He just likes to kind of be empowered by his passion and enthusiasm and his positive attitude. And you one hundred percent can do, but in order to give yourself the freedom to do so, you 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 feel that need to kind of mm, I just want to kind of make sure mm, um, I've, 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 I've allowed myself that freedom. I've given myself a, um, a buffer, okay, to enable myself to walk free, okay. Then we've got this um, King of Swords here, which is interesting because it's like um, we're going back to the system here again, okay. So King of Swords, please. Thank you. Ah, yes. Three of, three, of, three of swords so this is where um in one aspect there is an element of um and this seems an, an unusual thing to say but it's coming up so i'll just say it in one aspect there's a kind of like a grieving process that comes with saying goodbye to this old system you know um the rules and the laws the lawmakers the regulations uh the people that have your back um have your back no the people that um could have put the systems in place there is a bit of a grieving process to say goodbye to that in one in one aspect in the other aspect there could be someone who is um very close to you male or female doesn't matter who is very integrated very much and integrated heavily within the system and um it's it's it can it feel painful because you now know that you can't um that you, you can't give you, you can't really speak your truth all that much with that person because it could come across as offensive um that you are now branching away um and you know so it there could be some heartache with that but i feel like the heartache is it, it's it's more mental heartache because we've got two swords um two sword cards here um it could also be that as you're sort of moving through this energy that you get a little bit of um tough luck with regards to this uh, so i do want to pull another card for the king of swords please yeah it does feel like there's a bit of a grieving process of the things you know that you're now saying goodbye to because it has been your paradigm up until now your whole life in fact and now that you're sort of um knowing that knowing and feel that tug and that pull towards um you know creating this new dynamic for yourself with it comes um saying goodbye to the system how things changed yeah we have um page of cups and death so a, a, a change here so um with this there is a huge transformation so perhaps it could even be that for example if you were in a sort of a romantic union with somebody and now it no longer serves in terms of they're not seeing eye to eye with you there could be a change um, a heartbreak to do with that offer of love and now it's been a, a huge transformation it's changing major change um even if this was a friend a business associate a family member who is very much integrated in the conventional system of the way things are run in the world again it's it's 
there's a huge change which could be with it sort of um quite difficult energy to move within and it's just um i don't feel like i mean it might be with this knight of swords we're going to find out it might be like a real spoken things but because it's under the uh the high priestess there i do feel like it's pretty intuitive like you really are picking up on all these energies okay right knight of swords please could also be that if you're waiting on something as well to allow you the free pass to enter this new paradigm shift that um it it's it, you, you don't get the good news for it you know and then that sort of makes it, it that even has a potential to catapult you even further into it actually um knight of swords please can you clarify the knight of swords there's a knight of swords here please thank you uh, two of cups okay so you will see eye to eye eventually so even if this is someone in your surroundings who is not on the same page initially um and there's a change in there there's a transformation a dynamic change with where you put where you put your energy your your love energy and we talk about love energy so you can also talk about passion right particularly if you're trying to venture out and, and use that passion of the king of wands but i do feel that communication is key here okay so even if you're sensing all these things i would say uh speak your truth because the king of swords doesn't beast around the bush he he gets down to the nitty-gritty he speaks he speaks the details um but this talks about correspondences lots of correspondences backwards and forwards to meet on that playing field right so where you maybe struggle with other people who didn't meet you there i feel like you're going to sense that actually it's important to really speak your truth uh, because you'll find you'll be surprised that actually if you have that clear communication you'll find that people start to see it from your perspective you'll start to be able to be in an equilibrium uh, equal equal oh this card also jumped up was landing on my lap um equal um understanding right an understanding and it's soft it's softer so I do feel like communication is absolute key. And we've got that judgment card, which landed on my lap with these. So um, it is that judgment call. It's like that marks by having that open communication rather than it being all in the ethereal, um, uh, the ethereal sort of energy, psychic energy around you. You're starting to voice it now, okay, come the end of the year. And as you voice it, by voicing it, it creates and it, it pushes it into a judgment. And, and a judgment, what, what, what I mean by that is it makes it real. So as soon as the sound resonance is very, very powerful, um, words are very, very powerful. But the resonance of it, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's just, it's so, so, I can't get, it's so powerful, right? Um, and sometimes when you speak a truth, okay, it makes it more real than it just being a little bit sort of shh. Okay, so I feel like that's really important for you, but um, I feel like you're only going to really come to that conclusion near the end of the month because you're still navigating all of these energies. You're still coming to terms with these energies. You're still grieving the old energies. Okay, let's get that card, please, for Scorpio, please, for December 2021. Thank you. Oh, what was I saying about spiritual awakening? I'm covered in goosebumps. <gasps> pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle now oracles are those who give guidance to others by you deliberately shifting out of these dense conventions of the so-called expected ways of following rules and regulations and by you sort of moving into more okay well i'm going to loosen the rules around me i'm going to loosen the burdens of chains of what i'm supposed to believe and i'm moving more into my natural flow of things as you do so you get that spiritual awakening and you might have already had a spiritual awakening or you might not have but you can have little little ones as well <laughs> even if you've had a big one you can have little moments of like aha moments right particularly when i was talking about this about seeing people from the old era who are not with you on the same page speak it will come and as you do so with that um know that actually your frequencies are rising your vibrations are rising you are seeing things from a much higher perspective and as you do so you can be the guide to others sometimes the best way of guiding the way of following what feels right rather than as being told and taught as right 
may, sometimes the best way of guiding that is to do it yourself and, and teach by example. So it's really positive, um, Scorpio. A lot of energy is moving through. Really wonderful. I love it. I really do. Um, so if this resonated, please do like, subscribe, comment and share. Good luck for the month and I'll see you next time. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, um, check out my website, loveitormore.com and uh, or check out the details in the description box below. Okay, take care. Bye.